Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your June 2018 love reading. You know where you are, She Do Tarot. Pleasure to have you back. Welcome to my new subscribers. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook as You Do Tarot. And what? Thank you to um, those of you who have donated to the channel. It got us a lavalier mic. Um, what else? Uh, the readings, personal readings are shut down until the 8th of this month. If you want to get on the waiting list for that, send me an email with the subject line. She do. No, just put waiting list. And then for the segment that we're starting called She Do Answers, any questions that you want to ask me, send me an email and in the subject put She Do Answers. I will answer anything. doesn't matter about that life. So anywho, I'm going to go ahead and tune into your energies, Aquarius. I just know one Aquarius in my life. I don't know why I don't come across Aquarius a lot. I feel like my face was like all up in your face just now. <laughs> Okay, Zoki Lemon Choke. Alright. Spirit, please give me clear and direct guidance for my Aquarius friends. Give me two cards for Aquarius. First card is gonna be for Aquarius. The second card is gonna be for their cross watcher or partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever they are connecting with this month. You know what I'm saying? Please give us clear and direct guidance for Aquarius spirit. Also, please allow the first card and the second card to be related to my single Aquariuses. Aquariuses, is that a word? And by single, I mean no side chick, no side dude. It's not nobody you're in a situation ship with. It's just someone that is alone. Very alone. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing. I'm single too. It's cool. All right, two cards for Aquarius. Thank you, Sput Up. Gonna go ahead and cut this deck. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys have been fine. I missed you all. You guys are the last sign because y'all had the lowest views from last month, Aquarius. I ain't gonna hate on you. Maybe y'all have a Taurus in your life and you were busy out, you know, partying with them and whatnot or whatever. Even though my Aquarian bestie was not out, you know, partying with me. He was being a dad and stuff, you know. He's single, ladies. He's a single dad. You know how hot single dads are. Yes. Message me for details. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me get three cards. For Aquarius. And three cards for their cross watcher. And spirit, let those three cards also apply to the life situations of my single Aquarians. Yeah, that's the word Aquarians, not Aquarius. This is this is. I need to get my life together. Alright, that's it. Okay. It's like one in the morning. But I said it is well, technically now it's the 2nd of June. I was like, I cannot wait another day to get these out for my little peeps. All right, let's see what you guys' central energy is. The central energy for Aquarius is the Five of Pentacles. You guys past influence. Ooh. Uh, what's their name had that? Um, Sagittarius had this too. The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh. Going forward, you guys have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and call it that Aquarians were connecting with an Earth sign person. And that's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Your present energy... Oh, wait, no, my bad. I'm about to jump to the next person. You guys, Romance Angel card is Forgiving and Learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, Aquarius. What it looks like to me is that you guys had a male or female in their past that was very much focused on themselves and money. Maybe themselves and your money. You know what I'm saying? And presently, you guys were... Well, I'm not even going to say presently. Past tense, they left you out in the cold. But presently, you guys have made the decision to leave from being in the cold. Like, to go into warmth, in so many words. You got tired of kind of sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sitting up here like, what was me? And you were like, that's it. You picked yourself up by the bootstraps and you're going forward with your life because you realize sitting out there and crying about it being cold 
was not st stopping the snow from falling. So you decided to get up out of there. So I see going forward that you guys are going to be very much focused on your career. I do feel like there may potentially be a person that's going to be coming in and helping you with that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe two people. I think it's interesting because I'm looking at, you know, these three isolated pentacles here. And then I'm looking at there being three people in this card. So there may be two people. I don't know if it's like maybe like a work project or something like that. But then again, I mean, you could be working on your house, too. Maybe you're going to have two dudes that are working on your house. So I don't know. But um, I feel like you guys are kind of moving forward. So if you're not already, the main focus of the cycle for you guys is um, kind of letting that person go. Like, I mean, accepting what it is that that person has done because, you know, it's in the past. We can't change the past. So it's just kind of accepting, OK, this happened. But what is it that I learned from it? Like, how did this make me better? Like, what lessons did I garner from this situation that I can add to my life so that I'm a better person? But I do kind of feel like going forward with you guys working on this project, whatever it is, I do kind of feel like that's a distraction. And I mean, rightfully so. We all deal with things differently. So, I mean, you guys may be thrusting yourself into work to just kind of get your mind off of everything. And I mean, that's OK. It's no big deal. It's like, you know, just as long as you don't get into like workaholic mode, we don't want that, but the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to you guys. Cross watcher, their present energy is the four of wands. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the past influence is the nine of swords. Interesting. And going forward. Oh my gosh. There's the ace of cups. Okay. Aquarius. All right. You guys, uh, I mean the cross watchers what do you call it their romance angel card is pay attention to the red flags this has been coming up a lot the signs are cautioning you and i feel like this instantly when i read this made me go back to you guys eight of pentacles card okay so here's the deal this person that spirit is trying to bring back into your life or maybe it's somebody that okay god this is like three different scenarios at once okay one one Aquarius people who are recently divorced, recently broke up with someone, right? And by recent, I mean like within the last three to six months. And I mean, it could be sooner than that. You guys are still kind of emotionally hung up on the ex, but I feel like y'all have been dating as a distraction, but you haven't really forgiven this person per se right so you haven't really like released them energetically but you've been dating as a distraction also something that people tend to do from time to time right but i feel like this person that you guys connected with some of you because this is like first scenario the person that you've connected with they really like you like they like you a lot and i think at one particular time or another or maybe even now it's like they want a relationship with you. They want a relationship with you. Like they want to be with you and they assume that maybe you guys sleeping together meant that you guys were going to be together. Okay. And I feel like they've been kind of, uh, in their head about this a lot, like not being able to sleep at night on some stuff because, um, because you're not doing anything. It's like, you're not giving them a commitment. You're not saying that you want to be with them. You're not saying anything in the lines of that, but like you're kind of acting like you're in a relationship on some stuff. Like this person is always around. Oh God. Like I feel like you may let. Oh Jesus. Mm -mm. Okay. So, um, yeah. So you guys may let the person like around your family and kids and stuff like that, and they spend the night, make you breakfast. You know bring you lunch and stuff like i mean they, it's like y'all y'all act like y'all are in a relationship but you won't commit <laughs> so this person is you know kind of having sleepless nights behind it because they're not understanding like what am i doing wrong because this is what they want with you they want harmony they want happiness they want a stable you know household family and stuff and i don't think that they know that you're emotionally you know hung up on this person from your past because i mean i don't even really think you discussed that it's like you may have 
not saying that you're hiding from them that you're uh, broken up or divorced or whatever. I think you told them about it, but you speak about it very nonchalantly. Like, you're just like, oh, yeah, you know, it didn't work out, you know. And they're like thinking, oh, they're emotionally available, but you're not. (laughs) Okay. Because you were focused on, it's like you were, you're still focused on this person. You're still wounded and hurt. You have unforgiveness towards this person and you're thrusting yourself into your work as a distraction and also dealing with this person as a distraction. So more or less cross watcher. This is spirit that's telling you to pay attention to the red flags. If anything that I said resonates with you, I'm sorry, Aquarius, I'm salting your game. But hey, I am here for the collective and I love people and I don't like seeing us messing over each other because of our wounds and things. Anybody got time for that? Anyway, so cross watcher, pay attention to the red flags. You know what I'm saying? If you told Aquarius that you want to be in a relationship and Aquarius is like lagging on that, they're not doing anything in the direction. Do not go by what it is that people are doing. Because sometimes, you know how they say actions speak louder than words. Sometimes words speak louder than actions. You know, I've had to learn that the hard way. Sometimes a person can act like the stuff that they do. Like letting you be around their family and stuff like that. That says like, oh my gosh, they totally have to be serious about me. He wouldn't have let me meet his mom if he was not serious about me. But he's saying, or she is saying like, you know, I'm just not ready to be in a relationship. Kind of just want to be single. But then you're like looking at their actions. Don't fall for it. It's a trick. It's a trap. It's a trap. Anyway, but I feel like you guys really do want this stable household with Aquarius. For my second tier of people, there is a possibility that you have gone through the scenario that I just described with Aquarius, right? Either they listen to my reading or they have some type of epiphany where they decide to stop sitting here and sulking for themselves. And where it is that they're going is to this happy home with you, right? So they release themselves from being out in the cold. They go into the warm where the heater is. You know what I'm saying? And when you make this offer of love to them together, You guys are going to work on it. They're going to put dedicated effort into this relationship. But again, pay attention to red flags. If anything pops up in between there and you think that this little ex is popping up and stuff like that, cross watcher, tier number two, pay attention to the red flags. Okay. Now, let's see. Is there anything else that I see here? Mm Hmm. Some of, oh, some of y'all. Mm. Mm, some of y'all, dang. Okay, some of you guys, I do kind of feel like, ooh, is Sagittarius leaving this person? Okay, tier number three. I feel like, did I say Sagittarius? I meant to say Aquarius. I feel like y'all may be leaving someone. If you guys are with someone now, like in a relationship and you guys are committed to each other, and this is more of a warning for the cross watcher than it is for Aquarius. And nine times out of 10, the cross watcher, this is for the Aquarius person does not watch readings on YouTube. So you're good. But you have been getting dreams at night that your partner is lying right like either it's that you're waking up at weird hours of the night when your partner isn't home or they're out of town or something like that or you've been having a lot of crazy dreams on some stuff they've been acting kind of different on some things you feel like stuff is kind of good and you're kind of discounting all of this stuff that's happening because you know From the outside looking in, the inside looking out, everything with you guys is hunky-dory. Like, there's nothing that would ever make you think that. But I feel like your partner is stepping out on you. Now, mind you, because I got to give warnings and things, Miss or Mr. Crosswatcher person. If you've been having dreams, like, reoccurring, I mean, like, not just one night you had a dream and it's like, uh, or after you watch this, you have a dream and you're like, she said that. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone who... You have had reoccurring dreams about this. You felt it or it keeps you up at night on some stuff that your partner has been dealing with someone else. But, you know, 
you've really been discounting it because, you know, everything is legit and cool or whatever. But I feel like they may be leaving. I feel like they may be leaving. Or you may end up finding out that there is someone um, else. I shall we? I don't like giving stuff like that. But pay attention to the red flags and the sense of meaning. If any of this is lining up, then just be aware. You know? To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Now, my single people... You guys are blocked because of unforgiveness that you have from somebody who hurt you eons ago, right? And what you guys need to be doing is focusing on yourself right now. Um, you guys need to be coming out of the cool with yourself because you've closed off your heart in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? And you guys have been emotionally cold and distanced, to, distanced towards people. And you have been isolating yourself and focusing a lot on your work. But at nighttime is when all the sadness comes. Like throughout the day, you look to everyone like the Queen of Cups. I mean the Queen of Cups. Why did I say that? There must be a reason Freudian slip. But to everyone else, you guys look like the Queen of Pentacles, whether you're a male or a female. Like you look like somebody who's well-dressed and has it figured out and you're helping everybody else and, you know, teaching people how to do things. You're a role model and a leader and stuff like that. But at nighttime, when you guys go home, it's like when everybody is gone and everything settles down, it's like, this is when you're going through this, you know, it's like all of the emotions of all the sadness, all the regret, the loneliness, all of that stuff is coming in at night. So it's almost like you only realize that you're alone because you can easily, you know, distract yourself from it. You only realize you're alone at night when it's just you alone in your room, you know, and I feel like you guys are really desiring this happy home or you miss it. So there may be some of you singles who are also divorced or separated or just recently broke up with someone. And it's like you're desiring that either it's that you want your family back or you've never had a family and not never had a family. But I mean, in the sense of like desiring to be married and have children and stuff like that. But I feel like what spirit is doing for you all. If you can get your mind about a work is spirit is going to be bringing a love opportunity into your life in the very near future. Right. But let me give you a forewarning about this. Do not let this be more important than this. OK, the opportunity is coming, but don't screw it up by being too focused on your creative projects or work or whatever it is that you're doing like give this person some time because i can tell you that if you do you will be able to have this happy harmonious relationship and home and you won't ever know what it's like to ever have another night like that but i can't tell you when to forgive but i also must tell you that it's imperative that you do because unforgiveness blocks you it blocks off your heart when you have angst and you know negative feelings towards people so yeah Red flags, I feel like you need to be paying attention to are your own. What you have a tendency to do that isolates you from other people. Don't go into hermit mode and isolate yourself. Open up, go out, date, get you a tender profile, something. I don't know. Do something. But Aquarius, I got my little Zodi dice that I'm going to. Um, my son is sleeping, so I probably shouldn't have that on there. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's 2 a.m. So these are my little dice that Spirit led me to make. So they've been pretty accurate for a lot of other peeps. So I'm going to shake them up and I look at them as clarification dice. So it's not asking a question. It's just that if you kind of sort of felt like this reading resonated with you, these dice clarify it. This was $1.99 at World Market. And it's magnetic. All right, Spirit, give us some messages for Aquarius to clarify this reading okay <laughs> Ooh. okay we have Aries Sun and Scorpio crush I feel like that sounds like a business or a product of a business <laughs> so Aries, Sun, Scorpio, Crush. 
ordinance person who could have Aries and Scorpio in their chart. Well, I'm going to lean more, or maybe they could be Scorpio sign. Whatever. I don't know. It's your life. Let me know in the comments. But that's been your June 2018 reading, Aquarius. It's been a pleasure. I love your face. Lots of other readings that are coming up this month. So I will see you guys sooner than later. Deuces.